Hello, I'm CJ Weldman. Please don't forget to subscribe to our show. Now let's get into it. There are not many uplifting stories to share about the genocide in Gaza, where more than 12,000 Palestinians have been slaughtered by Israeli war plans and artillery during the past six weeks. But the one I'm eager to share with you today might just be enough to restore your faith in humanity, justice, and even the Lord Almighty. But this is a story that can't be told without first understanding and appreciating the angels of Gaza, a term that has been beautifully coined to describe the 6,000 Palestinian children who have had their young lives extinguished by the Zionist war machine since October 8. Israel may have destroyed their earthly bodies, but these young Palestinian children have not died in vain. Because the angels of Gaza are not only turning the tide against Israel, but also the opinion Americans hold towards the religion of Islam, with a record number picking up the Quran to understand the resilience of Muslim Palestinians. Why? Because America is experiencing its most transformative moment since the Vietnam War. Because the Gaza genocide has led ordinary people to gain an understanding and awareness about the lies they've been fed about Palestine and Islam from the Israel lobby during the past 50 years. My day two and reading the Quran, you can see the brave Palestine people as they're losing everything. So much faith and peace while their families are being murdered. In the United States, we need a lot more empathy and understanding of Muslims and the Arab world. I need to know what y'all put in Islam, okay? This existential search for truth and clarity has led Americans to suddenly renounce their Christian faith and accept Islam. Now, did I expect for me to read the Quran and it resonate with my, the core beliefs and values I already have? I didn't know any of this stuff. Like, I, the propaganda run deep, but I don't think I've ever understood anything as much as I've understood the Quran. I'm no longer a Christian reading Quran. I am now a Muslim reading Quran. Alhamdulillah, I am Muslim today. So I'm taking my Shahada today. I don't know what more to say here other than wow, because as a journalist and activist who has spent the past 12 years exposing Israel's human rights abuses in the occupied Palestinian territories, including the 2014 siege on Gaza, I have never witnessed anything like what's happening in America today. This is the biggest sea change, the greatest change of heart, and the most momentous shift in public opinion on a single topic since forever, which means America will never be the same and neither will the state of Israel. With new polling data showing that 70% of young Americans now disprove of the United States support for Israel's criminality and barbarity. President Biden is now genocide Joe, and that's the way it will stay, because Americans are starting to see Palestinians for whom they really are, and not the cartoonish portrayals they've been fed by Hollywood and the pro-Israel mainstream media for years. This is why we are witnessing unprecedented support for the Palestinian liberation cause across all major US cities. From San Francisco to New York, Americans are marching in record numbers against the Israeli occupation because they are seen with their own eyes how Israel steals everything from the Palestinians, their land, their home, their children, their parents, and even their limbs. But yet, these defiant people, these dignified and humble people emerge from the rubble saying, God is all knowing. I've not seen any footage of Palestinian people cursing Jewish people or Israeli people. These are people of God. I know these people were blessed by Allah himself. Yeah, hold faith is such an indomitable hope. They don't give a f about this life, okay? The only thing these people fear is Allah. That's, it. That's something that people don't get to see often. Definitely not here in the West. On the flip side, American Saudi Israeli Prime Minister invoke the Old Testament of the Bible to justify genocide in Gaza. And I've seen the call echoed by Israeli children who produced a video calling for the mass murder of every Palestinian, which was broadcasted on a national television channel. The contrast between so-called Judeo-Christian values of Israel and its allies 
and that of Islam and the Palestinians could not be starker. And Americans are now seeing this for themselves. Just from reading the second surah, I'm like, I get it. I understand why there's such a steadfast faith to anyone that follows Islam. Being shown just how wrong we were about this faith and how rich, how like, how deep and just the language of it, oh, how fluid and beautiful it is. We've been lied to the Western people. Islam was already the fastest growing religion in the United States. But Israel's medieval siege of Gaza, which has enjoyed the full backing of the United States government, has accelerated this trend. With many now questioning the virtues of Western civilization. These questions lead directly to the hypocrisy and injustices that underpin the evangelization of American empire. Sam, as I said, we have uh, the U.S. government has a, a rigorous process in place for evaluating whether something constitutes uh, genocide, and we have not made that assessment. In but this you case. continue to I'm pretend gonna, I've, that the I've bombing taken... of hospital after hospital, bakery after bakery, uh, university after university, and somehow you keep pretending that, oh, they're just after military I, people. I, I, I... This genocide has also led millions of Americans to participate in the online hashtag Quran Book Club on TikTok and Instagram, where new readers of Islam's holy book share stories, summaries, and evaluations. And we also know that from user comments that many of these accounts have discovered our show and watched our recent episodes on how Islam is transforming America for the better and why so many Christians have converted to Islamic faith. We are glad you're here. But all due credit goes to the angels of Gaza because it's through them that Israel's criminality, brutality, and dishonesty has been exposed. The angels of Gaza have not only brought the realities of the occupation to the average American household, but also the irrefutable beauty of Islam. Americans are now turning to the Quran to understand the incredible resilience, faith, and moral strength and character they see in Palestinians who have lost their children to Zionist savagery. And to the mothers who are losing babies and watching their children be slaughtered in the streets, I see you. And I have hope for you and I pray for you the same way that I hold the hopes and the dreams and the prayers for my own black son to be safe. We love you and we're praying for you. And there, whether you're a Palestinian or you're a black, we're, we, we stand with you unapologetically, free Palestine. And like I said at the top of this episode, the Gaza genocide is the most transformative moment in U.S. history since the Vietnam War. And we have the angels of Gaza and the religion of Islam to think for that. Please believe me when I say these words. These are the end times for the Israeli occupation. Anyway, that's my time for today. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And we kindly ask you, please support our effort to expose and confront injustices in the Muslim world by becoming a member of this show at patreon.com slash CJ We can't produce, sustain and grow this show without your help. And we offer exclusive benefits to those who do. But for now, good night, good morning, wherever you are, and stay blessed.